It is getting blustery out here. A little bit chilly. The sky is starting to get angry. And I figured it's a perfect time to try, for the first time ever, HH Bold Kentucky. Now, this is actually a review that I'm doing for Kyle Wait Kunas, who is a member at the A Man Achieves Nirvana level. With that level of membership, he does get, uh, if he so chooses, to have me review any blend he wants as long as it's readily available. And he chose HH Bold Kentucky, which I'm stoked about because I love everything else I've had from the HH series. My one apprehension is that I have heard this is a strong blend. And as some of you may know, if you watch the channel regularly, I'm a little bit of a wimp. So at, uh, at Kyle's behest, I have some pineapple juice ready to go should I need it. Um, I'm going to make sure to get my initial notes down before anything like that because I want to you know, I don't want the, the pineapple juice to affect what I'm tasting, per se, but that's what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to read the back for you, and then I'm going to pop it open and let you know what I'm smelling. It says, whoa, hopefully it doesn't get too windy either. It says, this blend is a treat for the experienced pipe smoker. HH Bold Kentucky contains a high amount of the finest dark fired Kentucky from the USA and Africa, a little bright Virginia is added to soften the blend just a bit. The experience is the leaf itself. And thanks to the hot press, the different tobaccos marry into a unique blend. Like all HH blends, it has only the absolute minimum amount of casing and no top flavor at all. The taste comes from the leaf itself. And I do like that. All right. Let's get this thing opened. The classic Willy Wonka ticket that you always find in McBaron HH series. And I'm already starting to get a whiff of it. I'll save save that for a second. Oh, and I'm that's ladies and gentlemen, that's why they call it Bold Kentucky. Look at that color. It is so very dark. Let me see if I can, yeah. Really cool looking. All right, and let me, let me just get in here because I'm already starting to smell stuff and I want to talk about it. 100% smells like smoked meat. like freaking smoked barbecue beef ribs. It that's that's what it smells like. <laughs> Beautiful smoked beef ribs. And it's not just you know a smokiness, but it's also kind of that oiliness, you know, cuz ribs are a, a big fatty piece of meat and I get something sort of fatty or oily oh. mm, and then there's some underlying earthiness too it's like you can you're camping and you can smell all the dirt around you in the campgrounds and maybe there's like a little bit of ash and just you know the smell of camping but for dinner tonight you're making Frickin' beef ribs, and somehow you lug the smoker out there. Ooh, that <laughs> really smells good, man. I've, I mean, there's definitely similar notes in other Kentucky based blends. Like Old Dark Fired has a barbecue -y note, but I think of that as more like barbecue mushrooms, where well, this is straight up barbecued meat. Okay. I really, really like the way this smells. I'm gonna say that. I'm going to go ahead and break this down, load it up. I'll get back to you once I have a good idea of what I'm experiencing uh, taste-wise. Woo! 
Mm, mm, mm. That is just so damn good. So, there was one more note that got me. It came and went. It was a, a cinnamon, like cinnamon candy or cinnamon bubble gum that came and was, was there for a few minutes and then uh, disappeared. Pretty, pretty interesting. So taste-wise, that's the only new note that I picked up on. But other than that, everything just marries together and it's very satisfying. And as you can see, I am, I am leaning back in my chair here. It is strong. To be sure, it is strong. But it's not too strong. <laughs> not, not for me, not today. And I'm a little bit surprised because for sure uh, the most recent blend that I smoked that was labeled strong on uh, tobacco reviews and to be clear, I wasn't looking at reviews of this before I smoked it. I just wanted to see, does everyone else call it strong? Because um, Kyle was, was telling me it's pretty strong. And indeed, um, it's listed at that strength level. And the last time I tried something at that level, uh, big and burly, it was too much for me. So I don't know if it is the pace if it is, uh, you know, I had a substantial enough dinner, or if it's the magic of the pineapple juice. I did go ahead and take uh, two swigs of the pineapple juice between now and the last time you saw me, and it seems to be doing the trick, because I feel good. I feel affected, but in the best way. I got tingly cheeks and a tingly back, and I'm reclining, and feel like I'm on vacation, but it's all just good, you know. I mean, I, I do this because I enjoy the taste, I enjoy the relaxation, I enjoy being alone and just hanging out and contemplating things, but also, you know, that little hit that you get is nice, and that's a part of it for all of us, I would assume. And this brings that in spades, and it is so satisfying. It's really satisfying. It is a damn good blend. So, my final thoughts. Uh, thank you, Kyle, for for uh, suggesting, or not suggesting, for choosing this as the blend for me to review this month, because... I feel like I found a winner. I I literally already ordered a tin. I got a three and a half ouncer, so that way it can age because it's going to take me a while to get through this for sure. And then by the time I open it up, I'll have some something nice and aged in my life. But I would highly recommend that you try this if you haven't. Um, if you are into Kentucky's. If you're into stronger blends, or if you're looking to try something stronger, looking to try Kentucky, this is it's a great choice. So, yeah, three thumbs up. <laughs> um, if you have tried this blend, I would love to hear your thoughts. Especially, I would love to know if, if you got any of the similar tasting notes that I got. That's always fun. Um, but yeah. I hope that brought some value to your evening or your morning or your afternoon. And thanks for hanging out.